Greetings everybody, Barry from HEW Machine Repair. Today's project, we're going to be installing a servo 150 power feed onto the table of a Bridgeport Series 1 mill. Basically every knee mill is very close to the same setup. Um, now this one is slightly unique because this is a mill that we install ball screws on. So we had to machine the back of this out and I will, um, normally with a little lip there, you just machine the lip out because this part of this ball screw sticks out. Other than that, this is exactly the same as the Acme screw. First thing you do is you take these two pieces of masking tape off of the needle bearing and you have two quarter 20 screws. This will fit on and you can see where they line up. You can get them started in there. All right, now we got these on, snug these up. And by the way, this is on a side note, if you're ever sending one of these in for repair, which we do repair a lot of servos, um, we are one of servos biggest repair houses, um, please just take everything apart, take these two screws out and send us the whole unit. Don't send us just the guts because it's hard to dial those things in that way. Okay, we now have this on. Okay, you have your spacer or arbor. Slide that on. We're now ready to slide our servo unit on the screw. Slide that on there and see how it fits nice and snug. Okay, now we're gonna take the four screws that we're holding the original end cap in. Put those in. Now, if your machine's got a lot of wear, one thing you can do is run it down to that end all the way to the opposite end so that you're getting a good feel of your screw actually, your end cap actually lining up as it should. So we're gonna go a little snug. We're, all, we're already within a foot or so. I'm gonna go a hair closer just to make sure. I'm not going all the way in yet. Okay, I'm gonna crank this down. Now, your left end is still on, and that's your capture end. So you can crank this all the way down here. Just get within a few inches. Really about all the further you need to go. So I'm within like four inches. Now you can go ahead and tighten everything up. Okay, now that we have the servo self-mounted, we are going to fit our brass gear. So just to show you a demo, I'm gonna throw this on here. Push it all the way in. And you can hear that grinding noise. Okay, your servo came with shims. These small shims are the shims that we use that go on the, on the um, screw shaft. So what you do is start out maybe two of them. Put them on, put your gear back in. Wow, it's nice and quiet, okay? Now we're gonna do something. I'm gonna show you what I do to, damp to see where we're at. So unsnip off your cables. We're gonna go ahead and plug this unit in and give it a test. Okay, now the one thing I want you to notice is while I'm doing this, I do not have the key in here. That's very important. No key in here while you're doing this test. Okay. Okay, you see how it's smooth, quiet, sounds like it should. But obviously the table's not moving because I don't have a key in there. So on this one, it looks like two shims is what we need. At this point, we put our key in. there now we're going to put our the original dial holder or the mission the original dial on here slide it on there and you see how that dials rubbing against here okay that's what these large spacers are for so start out with maybe one of the big ones it doesn't matter just you want to do is get it spaced off still not enough
There is literally no rhyme or reason for how many screws, how many of these you need. Putting everything on here. Here we go. You can see now there's a little bit of space there. Then you put your lock nut back on. Next, we'll put our handle on. Which again, this is a used machine, so this handle is very dirty. I'm going to wire wheel this after we're done with this. But put it on. It comes with a locking nut. Put that on. Wrench. Now, as you tighten this thing down, you may notice something changes. So, this one did not. This one's nice and smooth. Okay, so now you have it on. Let's give it a shot. Tighten feed. Wrap it. Okay, so now. Knock it out about center. Doesn't have to be exact center, but you want it to be close. What we're going to do is we're going to install the stop for the table stop. You take a knife, just kind of be careful. You don't want to cut your cord, of course. Okay, you see the word servo, and the other side is blank. The servo side is the side that goes out. Now, here is your bracket. The bracket's gonna go like this with these bolts. So I just kind of, just to make sure I get it right, I put one of them up just to make sure. Okay. Now, this thing came with a little rubber Backer, you do not need to use it. This is, these are sealed now. The old days they were not, and that was very important to have. You're gonna need a fine Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, once you have those in, you'll slide these screws, and you know, these screws are just barely get through the hole. Never have understood why they um, make them so tight, but servo has always done this to where you almost have to thread this through there. There's two little spacers. They go in each hole. Now these are going in where you may have had an original Bridgeport stop. They're the exact same thread, same everything. Now you'll notice that this machine is a Zerk machine. Um, this machine is in just for the, we put in new ball screws, we rebuilt the head, um, put in new Zerks, and he's now going to be using a cushion lube, which is a product we sell to lubricate your Zerk machine with oil and not grease like they were never intended to get. Okay, we have our stop switch on. So I like to test it, so I run it, and obviously it stops here, there you go. Other way, okay. Now, we're gonna put our actual stops in. The way these work, is this will be going right in that little area there. So you put your screw in, you just start it, a couple turns, slide it in from the end. Snug it up, same thing on the other one. Same thing, we'll do that. Snug it up just enough so we can test it. Show you how it works. On. Same thing on the other way. So, we won't go all that way because we already know it's gonna work. Make sure if you have a lock or something that you're gonna clear when you go by it, things like that. 
So, okay, the last steps you would have would be to install your um, cord. There's a little hole here, which we'll put, I'll put on here in a few minutes. Um, but normally there's no hole here. You need to drill and tap for your cable to hold this up so it's out of the way. Then obviously you wanna make sure your cables are dangling. So that is it. Um, that's how easy it is to install a servo 150 power feed on the table of a bridge port or similar type knee mill. If you have any questions, give us a call at 800-285-5271. And as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.